Do pizza scissors actually work? Also, cut it into little pieces for kids. If you haven't cut pizza in your life yet, then you've got to try it. It's magical. All right. It's magical. <laughs> Let's try. I guess I should probably read instructions. Please hold. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a special lock. Automatically open. Oh, those seem nice and sturdy. I'm excited. I figure the best way to try out our new scissors is to try it on grocery store frozen pizza that's slightly overcooked. Now for the test. All right, I see how that works. Oh, actually. That worked. That worked really well. <laughs> he also did like bite-sized pieces. Wow, that actually, for little kids, my life has changed. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Even this hard, nasty crust, it just whoops right through. All right, we're gonna compare it to my normal pizza cutter that I did get at the Dollar Tree, so that tells you the quality there. <laughs> Still gets the job done. A little bit extra work, but can it cut little pieces like that? Yeah, it can, but it's not nearly, not nearly as fun. Now, if I could compare the two, this one is a no brainer for me. Scissors will win every time. These are awesome. Now I've got four other kitchen products in the mail that TikTok made me buy. Oh, here they are. Now the next item, which I'm very excited for, I thought it was darling, because it was so little, so cute, and very viral, which is funny. The thing is, when it came in the mail, I thought I ordered one, but my surprise, I got six. Let me show you. Now you wouldn't really think of this as a kitchen item, but we are making it one, because that's what it was labeled. This is the teeniest, tiniest, cutest candy holder. Not only that, it comes with a teeny tiny little scoop where you can scoop things. It's so little. I love it. Okay, so she used some gummy bears, so that's what I'm going to use too. I kinda gotta shove them in this way. She made it look like they just went in so nicely, but we gotta do it this way. All right, now for the fun part. See if it actually works. Yes. Yes, it does. Ooh, I have an idea. All right, now the comparison of the original bag that it usually comes in compared to this. I think we all know what wins every time. Next up is a chicken shredder. Now I've used many different kinds of shredders. This one's kind of unique. And this gadget makes shredding meat easy and mess free. Now as I was about to open this box, I realized that they showed some great pictures. This one is chicken with bones in it. Then they shredded it and magically, there are no bones, everything is shredded. We'll see if it really works that well. Hmm. For some reason I thought it'd be a tad smaller. This thing is massive. <laughs> For a shredder, it's big. Handles. Okay. Easy. Easy. Luckily, I do have some chicken that needs to be shredded. Okay, nice, sturdy chicken breast. From what I could tell from the video, they just like pushed it down. Okay. Pushing down and twisting now. I think the whole thing, oh, actually, it can work. I thought the whole thing was moving, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, some of it shredded, some of it just got caught. Maybe I need to do it more. All the way around, maybe. All right, it's a little better. Again, we're having issues with it caught up top and caught on the sides, it's not, it's not shredding. That was bad. That also was bad. 
So compared to my bear claws, which I use all the time, I personally highly suggest the bear claws. They take up less space and they actually work. I recommend saving your money. Our next one, which I was super excited for, is, are you ready? A thin apple slicer. Now this is no ordinary apple slicer. There's something on the bottom of it that pops it so your apples actually come out. Number six is my apple cutter Ooh. that will cut any apple into 16 total slices. I am actually excited for this one, like super excited. You can see this, it says push, flip, and pop. There we go. Sometimes these are hard to do. Now we can pop it. Are you ready? So satisfying. It makes my heart so happy. Ooh. Pop, it does pop. Look at those, they just came right out. And you get little ones. These are like kid ones, which I'm a fan of. Now we're gonna compare it to the one that I've had for years and that I actually never use because it's hard. It's hard to do. That one was a little hard, but this one is super hard. Ugh. Ugh. And it doesn't have its pop. So overall, they both do their jobs. I do like this one a little bit better because it pops them all out and they cut them smaller. This one is still hard and I probably still won't ever use it. I'm just being honest. So if you did buy one, I highly suggest the one that has 16 little cutters. And the last item that I was so excited that was going viral is my pot strainer. Hmm. And this is a strainer that snaps onto any pot and it lets you pour out the water super easily. I knew it. I knew that other people would learn about it. So this is my silicone pot strainer. If you have not seen this, this will change your life. It strains everything and hooks to everything. Like I said, hooks to everything. Hot pots, stick it in there, oh, drains out. Stock pots, big giant pots. My favorite pot is the Instant Pot, and guess what? It sticks to that too. Everything, every kind of pot, it will stick to and drain. Now, I'm not even going to compare this to anything because I literally use it every time. Now, if you want to see more of my awesome kitchen finds, you can find more just right up there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.